So I was going to try to record this on my new iPod because my mom has an iPad and she said that she can make regular videos on there and then upload them straight to YouTube. But it wouldn't, it would only look, make videos of my face. So it would be good if I wanted to make a video on the go and upload it. But um, I want to be looking forward, like you see here. So um, if you watch my old videos, I've had one of my whole bedroom and I showed you like various altars. I had like five or something at the time. And I had like a working altar for making things for other people. I had one for a little, for my own personal things. I just, there was a bunch of different ones. I explained them in the video that I can, if I can find it again, I'll post the link below. But um, this is all I have now. It's very tiny and just what I need because I don't sit here and do workings at this. I feel like my room and nature and everything that I'm do making stuff in, I carry my own protective circle with me. So um, I've, I've posted my views about this before. If you'd like me to elaborate, I can make another video. But this is all I have now. And I don't sit here really and do much, but I do give offerings here. I'll burn my incense here. I keep some of my oils here and everything. Kind of as like a focal point for, um, I made this in dedication for Freya. So it's kind of like, I put this here for different things to honor her and everything and help like draw her and keep her around. So here I have a cauldron that's made, um, it was made in, I think, West Germany. And it's completely copper. It's pretty cool. I have uh, some amber and musk incense burning in there right now. Um, I have these little tiny tea, or these little, these woodlog tea holders. I think they're magnolia wood. My friend Leslie made them. Of uh, I always say it wrong. It looks like it's spelled Blythe House Creations, but it's Blith House Creations. I have three keys that I keep on here, and my mom found this rune pendant in a medieval marketplace. Sorry if I'm out of breath. I was just running around cleaning, and I wanted to hurry up and get this done before my sister gets home. Um, with all the different runes on it. An amber necklace I made and a viking knit with green, black, and silver, which some would say are some of her colors, but I'm not going to uh, say those are her colors because some people will argue with that. And here's some of my amber jewelry. There's a bracelet that was my little sister's that she doesn't wear often, so I keep it on here just for safekeeping. Um, some amber earrings, an amber ring, and a, uh, it's a replica of a Rush Tribe Valkyrie, supposedly, but I've looked elsewhere and they'll say that it's a serving woman, so I'm not quite sure, but with the firm, they, I got it from, um, God, I'll have to post the link and find him, um, a man who does dot a lot of different replicas, and a lot of people get their stuff there from the SCA, it seems like. Uh, two roses here, one yellow and one that was red that I got on Valentine's Day, I think the red one was from that. A little gris gris bag from the Voodoo store. I think when they first opened their Etsy shop, it was like the first thing. I think I was one of the first people to buy from them on their Etsy store. And then they sent me a free bag later. I think it was her dreams. I'll have to find it and look, uh, which is pretty cool. And I know they sell the Heather on their website and everything. I don't think they have a physical storefront, but they do have a website. And I found, I had this a long time ago. It was a mirror. But it kind of got scratched and messed up, and I didn't want to keep it in my purse. So it kind of reminded me of the, like the love and beauty aspect of Freya, so I keep it here. And behind here I have a blade that I use for cutting up herbs and um, breaking apart some of the things that I'll keep in my cauldron. Here's a little packet my friend um, Deanna made me. There's some, let's see, I can actually take this off and show you, and I just oiled this. You take the pin out, she put inside some things that she found, she said she found in a tree. She found this, and a piece of a bottle, and, oh yeah, part of a cork, which actually doesn't go to this bottle. She said she found this all inside of a tree, which is really interesting. She, uh, she's an interesting girl. Uh, the last time we were, t let me set this down. Uh, the last time we hung out, she, or no, we was at her mom's birthday party. And I was singing an ABBA song in my head, and she could hear it. And she's, So when I started singing out loud, I was like, God, I have this song stuck in my head. And I started singing it, she's like, I was hearing that song off you the entire time. And I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like, and then we go to one of her moms, and she says, yep, she's my little witch. But anyway, and I have a piece of carnelian here. My grandma sent us, my Oma, sent us a bunch of these pieces. And she said it's carnelian. But um, I keep one on here. So some um, I've read that it could be a stone of frizz, and I have a couple oils here: um, kaifi oil, American mandrake oil, uh, American pelt oil, come to me lover oil. 
this was supposed to be like a divination oil of sorts, and this is just um, mugwort oil that I just started brewing. So, have some hoodoo oils on there as well as some other things. Sorry if my camera's all over the place, it's hard to keep track of it. Then I have a firewall protection stone over here, and I had one here, but it looks like the fairies got it, <laughs> or, some, or my nine-year-old sister. But uh, it's not there, it'll be underneath where I keep some herbs there, and I uh, keep the rest over here in different jars. Sorry it's messy, I didn't really think to clean up, and there's tons of herbs in there. I was only going to show you the altar. But uh, yeah, so that's my little baby altar. Very simple, and uh, I like to keep things simple. I mean, maybe to somebody else it'll look like it's overly ornate, but to me it's simple compared to what I used to have. And I keep it next to my dresser, so, and uh, my other cabinet. And I uh, keep it right by the window that so I can cover it up too. So, and also when I want to take things out or release things, it's nice to have it by the window so that I can let things flow out of the window. Like different of all, if I'm trying to do a cleansing or whatever, you want the bad juju to escape. And I was keeping the Florida bottle, or a bottle of Florida water on the altar, but it kept getting knocked off. So I'm assuming Freya doesn't want it on her altar. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Thank you uh, for watching.